Hi, uh, I'm going to show you how to export videos out of Oxview. Um, you can export both uh, a trajectory video of a simulation that you have made, uh, but also a um, like orbital video of one single frame. Um, I have here one structure which, well, it is an icosahedron, but you have to relax it into a slightly better position first. It is quite of a large structure, so therefore uh, I will not do that in real time. It takes about 10 minutes. Um, but if we just go to a prepared solution, you can see um, that it is clearly an icosahedron. Um, from here, you can just click the create video uh, button and you can select between the trajectory, which would be a simulation trajectory, and also XY. The misket, um, which would orbit around the, um, the region, just showing the video. Uh, some things we could do to improve the, the quality of the video, or at least make it look uh, different, is uh, if you want to, uh, we can display the box, uh, a simulation box, um, which would be relevant if we have things moving around uh, a lot. We can also uh, Enable some fog. Let's set. If I toggle this now, you will not see anything because it fog is too much. Uh, if I set it to maybe 600, it starts to look a bit better. Uh, okay, 800, sure. Um, so I think we'll settle for something like that. And with the fog, then you can see a slight difference in the um, in the helix bundles that are further away, uh, so you get more of a depth perception. Maybe you don't really like the colors, uh, that's easy to fix. Maybe you want a pink one here um, for all these clusters. Um, I can also add colors, so you get more colors per cluster. That didn't look very good, maybe. Uh, let's do a green one here, something like this. And try not to take too, uh, too much jelly colors, I don't know. Um, Something like this looks okay, I think. Uh, so the first thing we're doing is to export uh, the Lemniscate version. Um, if you want to have a actual video downloaded, then you unfortunately still need to use Chromium. Uh, Firefox works well with Oxview in most cases, but um, the plugin that I used to, to create the videos only supports um, web and video export with Chrome. Uh, but you can still do um, GIFs or PNGs. Um, PNG and JPEG pictures will become an archive that you download and then you can put them all together with Handbrake or uh, some other tool that you want to use. Okay, so I'll zoom in a little bit more and then I start. Um, and then it will basically, from, um, from the x-axis, start looping around and orbiting uh, the origin and um, just giving you frames of uh, the picture from different angles and then this will become a movie. It's worth noting that while it is exporting I can still do changes, uh, move around and that will uh, be part of the original, uh, of the final structure. So maybe I um, realize I don't want pink here, I want uh, orange, yellow, um, then that will change, but only from this point onwards. So um, you can maybe select something to indicate um, if you're making a video that you want to show this particular cluster over here. Um, then I'll make a selection, which is a bit tricky when it's moving around. Um, but then this one will be selected in the movie, uh, which can be quite uh, quite useful. Let's see if it finishes. Actually, if you stop the movie earlier on, it will still download uh, and give you um, a result. So if you don't want the whole trajectory, just stop it where, whenever you want to, um, and you are good with that. So I think I'll do that now, actually. I just waited for it to reach the axis. There we go. Uh, and then we get this Batman movie that you can open uh, or convert as you like. Um, 
It's a luminous gate video, it looks like this. Um, and it will play quite nicely. And you can see that the colors are changing while uh, we're moving. Uh, the other option then is if I have a simulation trajectory, which I do, um, let's just deselect this one, clear selection, there we go. Um, and I want to see how that works. We can also zoom out a bit. And maybe position our camera somewhere like this. If I then move up, that's okay. Um, then I have to select trajectory instead. And I simply press start. And it will go through the frames loaded in the trajectory file um, and play it out, compile it into a video just as I did previously and, um, and give you a download. So it's very simple actually. Um, same thing here, if I actually do want to look at it from a different direction, let's say I want to look at it straight from the x-axis. Uh, let's give it a few more frames. Uh, but then I click one here on the numpad, um, and it will slowly move around to that position. Although it is a bit slow, as you can see. But you can interact with a video and showcase different angles of the simulation uh, as you'd like. The thing I'm doing here in the simulation is basically melting uh, the whole structure, uh, which is a good trick if you actually want to uh, have a good example or... Um, oh, there it is. It's a bit finished. If you want to have something looking like uh, folding DNA origami, then you can have all these um, these strands floating around in the beginning, and then you just reverse the video, uh, and it looks like it will assemble uh, from there. Uh, but let's have a look at the result. Yeah, you have the structure, uh, you have me moving the camera, and you have the whole thing melting apart, which looks pretty nice. Um, so as long as you have a trajectory file or just a single configuration, you can export videos. Just make sure to be on Chrome or Chromium, um, and you should be fine. Hope this helps someone, uh, and uh, thanks for watching.